also yesterday when I can't remember when, but you're talking about when you wake up and your mind will straight away go to like think about the problem from the day before, the biggest thing that happened. Mm, or um, if your your mind's in somewhat order and you're in the world to win, it'll be what you need to do today. Mm. For example, various depending on the personality. Yeah. Um, my mind definitely does that, and like a lot, a lot less. But I also had a lot of memories of when that was. I I would remember like waking up and not feeling any problem, and then being like, "Oh no, I ha there." I know that there's something I have to be worried about, and then like finding what it is. <laughs> um, That's the the devil. The yeah. thoughts. The peace, not peace. Yeah. And then and everyone thinks it's their friend. And that, that's I'm using Romana's terminology now. Yeah, the, mm. the parasite, because it wants your energy. It wants food. Yeah. When you're free and open, it's no food. So the Toltecs describe it like humans are born with a cocoon of energy around them. It's pristine and it's inedible to the parasite, same as your waking energy. The, the energy that gets formed, it's inedible. So it's no good. It's... So by in injecting beliefs and traumas and fears, it, it, it punches, it damages that cocoon and then it gets um, purchases to start eating. It gets food and then it keeps doing that and doing that and doing that until there's nothing left of it. And they say it just leaves the tiniest bit under your feet. The rest is gone just to keep you alive. So part of this is rebuilding that. Undoing that. Not very loving, is it? So maybe Romana's right. The parasite of the devil. <laughs> Yucky, huh? So whenever you get traumas going energy and defensiveness. Just I used to visualize, oh here they come for food. It's them, and I'm the, I'm, I'm the puppet. No thanks, I'm not going to be that puppet, I refuse. Sometimes we need um, ugly visualizations to, whether it's true or not, this that whole, like, whole concept kind of lines up. And, hmm. and babies do get born with a glow, yeah. So hunt, what's hunting you? Right, the deeper self to hunt, the deep thing that's hunting you. And that shows up in defensiveness, closures, changes of pitch, eye blinking. Right, um, erratic movement. Flushes of energy. It can even be coming to you from somebody. Into them, to you. Etc., etc., right? So notice the, uh, the, 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 the shifts in frequencies within. You have to become very aware of your inner. That's what happened to me. I went hyper inwards and I was aware of every movement. And just stayed there in the heart center and from there I could watch everything. And heal, heal, heal. And not move, get moved by it. I'd get moved by it but the center wouldn't move. I'd just keep my attention there. And they, they would suddenly would lose the power, lost the power, lost its power. And you start to see the dance more. You start to see the intrusions more. The inner, what's happening in, on the insides more. What's already there, nested. And, and sometimes cherished, as in, that's me, you know. I must defend this. But it's really that defending itself. It's not of self. So, yeah, carry on. You said um, you'd wake up and you go look for a worry. Mm. 
that's it. <laughs> um, I think though, since yesterday in realizing how I was becoming a victim of sensations in my body, I think I've just had a renewed understanding on the importance of like that just ruthless intent to stay true even when that's happening yeah um, so what's having a problem with that in your body it's it's, it's looping on itself yeah. and you're believing it's you mm. and i think in f- feeling in my body if my intent's strong like that there's just no room then there's just no room and then i can't head down the same yep So we have a lot of options, you know, see, so this is hard as what's going on for Cedar is. So many of these options have been removed for her. Do you know what I mean? So it's narrowed the focus a lot. And, you know, we have so many options. Mm-hmm. And so we have, to, we have to learn to narrow it down to absolute single-pointedness. Mm-hmm. Through wisdom, through knowledge, become a man, a woman of knowledge. And that includes knowing the enemy is powerful it, within its um, it, 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 the scope of what it can do, and its patience, and it's um, it's from antiquity. It has infinite time. It, it's not limited like us in this area. So we're up against a very, very uh, powerful um, device, sophisticated, sophisticated device. It's very, it's a, it's a trickster, like a, the best magician. Ever. But it has sinister intent. Hmm? So you can't just come at it with your mind and think you're going to win. You have to truly stay, get to single pointedness and surrender and let go and, 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 and not trust anything the mind gives you. mind created and wanted this mess it doesn't want you out of it but you can use the most functional aspects of it to unpick the dysfunctional and then drop that tool as well like Ramana says with the the fire stick so at some point we let go of the fire stick too And you disappear with it. 